Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome back to some more Death Cells. We're gonna resume the current run, which is like right after the the Watcher fight. Oh, we do get to uh, try out the Impaler once more. Um, I do still think I would much rather... I have to test it every time. One of these days it'll open. I do... Um, okay, so that's, that counts as the neural wall. That's good to know. Um, that could have been really, really poor. Like all of my, my like blocks there were so poorly timed. Anyways, like I said, um, I do think I will be better off taking strength upgrades as opposed to uh, not taking strength upgrades. I suppose, for lack of a better word, there. Okay, got the hit off at least. The door does not count as a wall. Uh, the Impaler. I really am not liking the uh, the sound it makes whenever you use it. Oh, the game heard me. It wants me to take the strength build. It wants me to succeed. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't like the sound the Impaler makes. <laughs> I think it's a bit too, like, obnoxiously loud. But I mean, other than that, I have no real, like, problem. Oh, I guess he's just gonna kill himself there then. Releases a poison cloud. Okay, strength upgrade number two. The Impaler also doesn't seem to be uh, extremely powerful. It does attack very fast though, so it does it does have that going for it. I do know there's a shop down there, but I might as well just come over here first. This is probably my least favorite of them all. Oh, I guess I just didn't make that jump. That's cool. I didn't want to make that jump anyways. Game, how do you feel about that one? I do kind of want the cluster bomb. I'll take the amulet and I will take the, uh, the cluster bomb. I'm not going to take the flamethrower turret. I don't think the flame turret is bad. Um, I just like the cluster bomb. Like I like the idea of the cluster bomb. And uh, I know uh, like I, I really want to go to the ossuary just because I have like a lot of money at the moment. So I'm just get this done. Oh, I really wish it wasn't a shield bearer. Like, the fact that it's a shield bearer really, really fucks, fucks all of it up for me. And all we got out of it was a whip. Which is unideal, for sure. There's a lot of things over here, it seems. Yes, we will take Knife Storm. Oh, if an enemy dies bleeding, nearby enemies bleed too. I I love that effect so much. Uh, do I want the Spiteful Sword over the Impaler? I guess so. It has a slightly higher damage output. I so I'm not sure if I actually do want to go to the Ossuary because, like I said, it'll most likely end in my death. So. I'm actually going to take the uh, complete opposite route and go to the Ossi or to the Ossi or to the uh, the promenade. Even though I should go to the ossuary, if anything, for like, at least for the achievement. Um, but I'm just going to go to the uh, to the this one. I have so many cells. So how'd that happen? Um, I guess just keep upgrading the wrap here. To the promenade? I'm gonna come to the promenade instead, it's easier. It's easier, I like it more. 3 minutes, 20 seconds, I can't get the time door anymore. Should have been a little bit faster, but that's okay. I'm not too upset about it. So we have poison and we have bleed. Spiteful Sword is still not like 
my ideal weapon. Don't get that. Don't get that confused. It by no means is the weapon I would want to be using here. I can't believe that didn't hurt me. Like, my whole skull went through the spikes. That's the old sewers. I could just leave. Um, but, like, I really shouldn't. What was that? Oh, the vines apparently have that cool effect on the the thing on the bob. I really thought that my stuff was already ready about ready with it. Uh, third strength upgrade. Yeah, I thought my knife room was already ready to launch there. I was incorrect. The skills upgrade. Yeah, like I said, I would have liked to, uh, I got the achievement there for crushing an enemy. I thought that I was gonna have to work really hard for that achievement. I mean, I guess, like, it is technically better. If only because, like, I'm probably not gonna be taking a whole lot of damage, but... Also, the fact that I'm at base HP makes this really, really risky to do. Just toss everyone else to bleed. See, like, these things could easily just, like, one-shot me, basically. If I'm not careful. Just have a, a weapon for me, please. Plus one health shield. I will go ahead and take it, because now I'm no longer at one HP. I wanted to take the lower projectile damage, because I think projectiles at 75 lower is better than everything at 10% lower. Um, but most of the damage that I end up taking late game is uh, not from projectiles. I don't actually want to fight the, uh, the elite enemy when I am at such a high risk of just causing catastrophic damage to myself. Kinda like that. That could've been absolutely terrible. I will take the infantry bow though. Over my, my other sword, or my other weapon. Which is gonna make the boss fight like almost literally impossible to complete. Uh, I will trade that one. I really don't like the whole you take extra damage from, like, while using this now. I'm not a big fan of that uh, change. I can't make it up there with one jump, therefore I will stop trying. Uh, we can also no longer make the ramparts. Like, the ramparts time the door, I can't make that one anymore, it's long gone. One day I will have to speed run through all of this. Oh, I do like the sandal a whole lot. But I do not believe that it is worth uh, <laughs> the times two damage taken thing. For what I would believe to be quite obvious reasons. Open, and off we go. To the ramparts. Not exactly like super well off, 422, but at least I do have a lot of um, room for improvement. Is this the infantry bow? No, it's a hunter's longbow. Um, I do have a lot of room for improvement in regards to the, uh, like being able to upgrade my skills a little bit better, uh, being able to get a better weapon as well. Like I said, don't get me wrong, like I love the, the, uh, infantry bow, I think it's amazing, but it's not gonna be very good moving forward and even less into the boss fight. 
because that means that the boss fight damage is going to be like exclusively done by Knife Storm, which would not be the ideal, uh, you know, scenario for me. All things considered, is Knife Storm only? I mean, it might not be like completely terrible, but I would like something a little better. Let's go. Increase damage from skills as well. Uh, what, what was that? It, it looked like I teleported or did something really odd. Ice bow, I'm good without it. Uh, let's go ahead and just teleport back up here. There's the time to door. Very, very long time gone from it. Sadly. I still don't think there's anything down there. Like, I think it might just be a... Like, a money situation. I don't think I'm gonna get much, uh, much else out of it. So I'm not, like super concerned with it, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know if there's, like, a blueprint down there I'm missing. But I guess now that they added the new blueprint, it actually might be somewhat worthwhile to at least check it. I'm so glad I can pretty much, like, kill the bats using the, the blue damage. Oh, it was the... The attack booster running out. That gave me that effect. Oh my god, enemies bleeding is the greatest effect of all time. Like, if an enemy dies while bleeding, the other enemies bleed as well. It's so powerful. Like, it's so. It's just so good in general. What does it want me to interact? Is there a... Oh, it's a, a line. Okay. I'm probably not going to take this unless it also gives me a stats boost. That was my only uh, concern there was getting a stat boost from it. Plus one health. I do lose corrupted power though. But I honestly think that's fine because I'd rather not have to risk taking extra damage because everything could go wrong very quickly which is unideal at best something else dropped down there a better knife storm uh, not a better knife storm it's gonna be a little bit difficult getting better than causing everything on the screen to bleed if I'm being completely honest here. We're doing well though with like just the bow and shield strat. This would never work in Dark Souls. I mean I guess it might work, but it won't be it won't be ideal. So let's continue moving forward. Almost fell off there because, like, I know I can't actually hold on to that part that's, like, part of the background, but for whatever reason I tried. And it almost cost me to take some nice damage there. Take everyone out nice and easy. Enemies something when they die. Enemies burn. Oh man, do I want the, sh the strength or do I want the health? I genuinely think I want the, uh, the strength more here. So I lost health. So I'm at 3 health now. 3 health, but I am at 6 strength. Oh, and I got my... I got my health back, so I'm not too concerned anymore. Is there a reason to fighting the elite archer? There is not. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Firebrand is a lot weaker than my infantry bow. So I'm not, I'm not even gonna entertain the idea of using it. 
Oh, I thought that the X was gonna be on that side. Okay, boss fight time. Didn't actually get a better weapon. <laughs> Uh, unbelievably enough but I think I, that I will be fine as long as I can dodge well enough to use knife storm appropriately and my greed shield I think will work against the boss here like I'm fairly certain that it will Oh no, I get that arrow back, correct? Okay. As long as I get one of my arrows back. Out of ammo. Okay, so now... Now is when the real fun begins. Okay, so I can block. <gasps> oh my goodness! Blocking gives me my arrows back. That is a life changer. That is a complete life changer. I now want to just keep this run forever. Okay, we're out of ammo again, so I have to block an attack. Specifically that one. He's just like, fuck now. I didn't miss with a single shot either. Oh man, he's done it. That's, that's a great revelation that I just found out that apparently parrying the enemy makes all the arrows fall from their body. And I couldn't be happier because that means that now it's viable for me to keep the infantry bow for a very long time. See, I'm learning things as I go. I have like 30 hours in the game now maybe, maybe more. And I'm still learning. I know 30 hours to some people isn't a lot. To me, it seems like quite a bit. Also, the bleed in the Fox Fjord is like the most amazing thing in the planet. Because there's just there's so many enemies and they're all at such close proximity. Voice no longer affects me. Hunter's Longbow. I don't think the Hunter's Longbow is better. Like, it deals more damage, but I'm not sure what, like, far away means. So I do think I have to keep my, uh, infantry bow. And also, that one takes so long to actually fire, from what I remember. And far away isn't, like, doesn't mean exactly what I think it means, or, like, what I would like for it to mean. There's a kebab. That's good to know. In case I need it. Didn't miss. Like, this is when that bleed is just so useful. Because everyone around them just bleeds and everything goes really well. Do I want the impaler? The only reason I want it is because it spawns the swarm of biters. It is technically stronger than my bow, but I'm not going to be getting as many critical hits with it. Which I think makes its betterness slightly worse. Uh, I took too much damage there, I'm not pleased with it. Don't let anyone let you believe that I'm pleased with the damage that I took. I can't roll through that, like I always think that I can and I never actually can. There you go. See, that's what I mean. Like, the enemy's bleeding is gonna make the knife storm so hard to, like, improve. I guess, for lack of a better word. Like, I would just have to literally get a stronger one with the same effect to make it worthwhile for me to lose it. Of course, sadly, the effects don't stack, like, I can't just permanently make enemies bleed. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this zombie. Probably something like that. Out of ammo. Out of ammo is unideal.
Just do not die against this zombie. That would be just the worst thing that's ever happened in my life. Oh, he's done it. Extra damage. So now I think the sword is just better because the regular damage is almost as good as uh, the critical hit there. And it does extra damage on a frozen target and I do have an ice grenade. That was the greatest use of my ice grenade possible. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Okay, it doesn't seem as strong as the thing says it, it was, so... I'm willing to believe that I have been bamboozled. No, it actually does deal a lot of damage. Never mind. I no longer believe I was bamboozled. I do believe, though, I have to go this way. Like, I think left is my appropriate turn. When I can, like, fight the captain without really being afraid of him for my life is how I know I've made it. Let's go. Make the world bleed. He did throw that. As much as I didn't think he did, he was able to. Um... Once again, we do this just to make everyone around us bleed. It, it makes everything go by so much better. 6-3-4 is good. It's not where I would like to be. Um, but I have not gotten very many upgrades recently, I suppose. Like, I don't think I got a single upgrade that like that whole place. Um, the whole Fog Fjord. I did get the sword though, the sword is a lot better. And I think I got the greed shield there? No, I, I don't I don't actually think I did, I think I got the greed shield prior to, to getting to the fog fruit. No, yeah, because I had the greed shield for the boss fight. Never mind. Oh man, I want to take it, just because, like, I want to, but I don't think I can justify it just yet. If I find like a lot of just zombies, then I think it's justifiable. Okay, it might be justifiable now. Because I don't think I'm going to take damage against the zombies. Also, I have to hope I don't accidentally step on one of these spikes. Because that would be a really, really bad way for this run to end. And I also might not even get anything good out of this, which is always my favorite part about these. I didn't actually get anything good out of that. So now I just put myself in, in danger for absolutely no reason whatsoever, but... Like, I think it'll be fine because yeah if I can like kill them with the bleed effect they will all just actually die there you go Chris lifted no problems am I cocky enough to fight this guy I mean I was cocky enough to do it I don't know if I should have done it though because it didn't seem like I was at the the strength level Where that was actually worth doing. Like, I think I can handle those guys with a properly, like, timed attack. But I think anything short of being, like, or not timed attack, a properly timed, uh, that's not worth the health upgrade. A properly timed parry, like, if I can properly parry then I think it will go fairly well oh I, I'm so happy that there weren't spikes down there
I mean, it, it could be going worse. Like, I have... I've done a lot worse in this area before, so I'm not, like, upset about it or anything. But once I get to these enemies, the... The pairing, for some reason, just becomes so difficult for me. And, like, one poorly timed parry, like... Costs you a lot of damage, usually. I didn't even freeze him. That's sad. That guy will die. Haven't gotten the key just yet. Um, see, like, that's where... That's where it can all go very horribly wrong. Because, like I said, I mistimed one parry and it cost me... To just get hit a lot more than I should have ever gotten hit there. You are kidding me with that. I see the other enemy there, but I can't, like... No! Hit, get all of your HP back, please. I can't risk missing any of that HP right now. I don't... I can't. I can't take it. I, I couldn't take it. I need to have the ability to freeze my opponents right now. And even more if I'm gonna be taking like really dumb damage like that. But at least the Spiteful Sword is good at keeping me back at full HP. Or not at full, but like it gives me most of it back. Because of the, the critical hit ability. Oh god, I couldn't see him because the fucking ivy grenade stuff was in the way. I have to freeze him first. I missed the freeze. Take him out. No holds barred. Let's go. Destroy the world with bleed. He's done it. I wish I hadn't used one of my my heals just yet, but there's nothing I could really do about it. I still like how they have to like make that uh, like a two trap kind of thing. I had to watch. It. I had to leave there. That confrontation was not for me. All I have to do is learn how to time the, the the parry against the kick. Because if I can parry the kick, I'll be fine. But I also don't know if I'm strong enough, like if my strength is high enough to be able to parry the kick. Because I was strong enough to parry before, but... I've been at 6 strength for a lot longer than I feel like I should be. But I guess I'll figure it out. I really shouldn't be going to the right anymore. I should just I should just go left. Is this the end of the right way, the right path? Something's blocking the door. I'm not sure what that means, but... Uh, we will go ahead and just exit then. Or not exit, but... Push forward into the... What is definitely harder part. There's nothing that can heal me at the moment, correct? That is correct. That was, like... The stupidest thing I could have ever done. I was behind him. That one I do not want to like. I do not agree with that one at all because I I'm pretty sure I was behind the uh, the enemy there, but 
I guess what the enemy and I consider behind are different things. Okay. That's fine. I'm actually just gonna implore the my usual strategy when I am in this area. And that is to just run past all the enemies. It can obviously go horribly, horribly wrong, horribly fast. He's not gonna die to that, so I'll, I'll just leave him be for now. Don't let the bats live, as the bats can end my life. No, the, the one I'm currently holding is better. Even if the enemies burn when they die, it's there. Uh, mine is still better. Okay. Shove shield. Well, at least there's a blueprint. Now all I have to do is, you know, make it part what is, at least to me, like, the single hardest area in the game. Because I haven't even seen it. Oh, there's a skills upgrade there, though. That's at least, like, very useful to me. Press the left trigger as fast as you can. Another kebab. Kebabs are good. Kebabs are good both in the game and in real life. Let's go! We should be coming close to it, but I have reached the point in time where there are priests and invisible enemies. Oh no, there's a second priest at the bottom. That's unideal. I dodged, but I apparently dodged the wrong way, which is, I guess, I mean, it's something I do a lot more often than I should. I don't have any more health. One hit, and I'm like pretty much screwed right now. Take the strength upgrade. The strength upgrade will save your life for sure. Oh man, it's about to get ugly. Balance blade. I don't get. Ah, uh, it's it's still weaker though. It is still weaker. The impaler is also weaker. Broadsword will be a lot stronger, but I can't afford like how slow the broadsword attacks. I have no easy way of getting to that guy. There's two enemies down here. Okay, take your time. At least make it to the Watcher fight. I don't see an enemy here. Oh, this is where taking the strength upgrade is like the best case scenario, but the health upgrade could mean the difference between life and death. And in the position I'm currently in, that's worth more to me than anything else. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't want to unlock it because I'm not going to use it right now, but... Blocks attack and shoves enemies backwards, burn enemies when you parry. Okay. Oh man, here we go. A second attempt at the Watcher fight. In, in the in the new upgrade, of course, or update, the elemental update. A blood sword would have been great, just because I have the like I have the knife storm. Oh, I can block him.
Oh god, the fact that I can block him is actually like... There you go, there you go. Just take advantage of that, deal the extra damage. I can't believe he missed that with that attack twice. But okay, it's time for the tentacle fight. I still think it's smart to deal damage to all of them at the same time and not ex not at all the way I just did that. Oh, I, that, sh that should have broken it. And there's just one left. And it should be easy-ish to destroy. Okay. Hit him with the sword, please. Not I don't care about the grenade hitting him. I care about the sword hitting him. Okay. Oh, that time it hit me. It's okay, we have most of my health back. Okay. Unideal, unideal, but okay, okay, do not, I can't afford to get hit another time. And I still did it, because I'm a very smart guy. Okay. Just dodge, like, the rushing ones is, like, the big priority right now. Because the rushing ones hurt a lot, oh god. No way that hit me. We have our HP back. Oh fuck. Hit it once. Heal back up to almost full. I'm scared that he's still gonna dash after he breaks out. His eyes gonna turn green soon. See, I feel like a four shield right now would be like very useful. Don't get caught by that. Is he gonna go green or is he gonna dash? Oh, he's gonna do that. This attack. Yeah, as you can tell, the four shield there would have saved me quite a bit of, of trouble. I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to dodge that attack. Okay. Yeah, like this one is so. It's so erratic. Get out of there. He should be, like, preparing to dash soon, I think. Okay, so this. I think is my last phase of this part. If I'm not. Uh, like 100% mistaken that I should have never gotten hit there it's getting a bit out of hand now okay more than anything watch out for whichever one's dashing that's always the one that's gonna hurt the most Oh god, I didn't think it was going to come from the other side. That one's- one of them's almost broken. I tried to heal. I tried to heal. I don't know why I tried to heal. I could have just not tried to heal there. Oh man, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. One day we'll get through that watcher fight. One day. Goodbye.